I've played those two piano concertos for all my life. Not actually performed them often. Can't believe that I only played this concerto once five years ago and then once in a little warm up concert in December. Um, it feels like really I've grown up with this. They were written in very, very different periods of Shostakovich's life. The first one he wrote for himself, and that's a very youthful, exuberant work, but it also contains a lot of sarcasm, it's very black humor. The second concerto uh, he wrote for his son, Maxim, when he was graduating from music school in the mid-50s, um, and you can hear uh, that Shostakovich uh, slightly mellowed down. You can sense this this um, spirit that it's it's written for a child, and at the same time, it's a, a very um, like Shostakovich does so often, also very subversive parody of what children's music maybe should have been in the in the Soviet times. I must say that since last year, since we did the, the first concerto, the thought of doing live recordings has become very, very strong. I've gained a lot of experience with, with studio recordings and sometimes it's the, the, the only good way to do it. But um, as I listened to, to last year's recording, even with very little rehearsal and patching time, not many retakes afterwards, um, it felt so good on the on the recording, and it has this this drive and, and freshness of a live performance. You're not going into a concert to hear just a polished performance, just to hear the notes. You're going for the excitement, for the live emotional experience for an upcoming projects with um, recording the Beethoven concertos. I'm now thinking very seriously about doing them live. The job that, that Jorowski and the orchestra did with, with playing ensemble and with not only being together but with doing the musical things together um, was really impressive when, when I listened now to, to the concert of, of last year. Well, first of all, he, he brings his incredible talent, his uh, youth, but also his sense of humor. He is one of the rare uh, musicians who really understands uh, humor, and he, what's more important, he understands Shostakovichian humor. For somebody who is not Russian, I think it's quite an achievement. He can be quite... Uh, exuberant and wild as well, but I think his main feature is this very uh, classical, very uh, graceful style, which um, strangely fits very well with, uh, with the music of Shostakovich.